Ashley reporting successful jump procedure. Roger that. Begin field base setup. something near the LZ. It's closing in. Successful. All systems check. Gravitational strength 1.05 G. Atmospheric pressure within safe levels. Magnetic field check. Error. Repeat magnetic field check with stationary equipment. Star system positioning check. Milky Way Galaxy. Sycorax belt. Planet Galatea 37. Ashley. We have arrived. Welcome to Galatea 37, Mr. Riggs. It's so beautiful here. Virtual simulations on Earth were good, but this is amazing. An alien tropical paradise. And we're the first humans to experience it. I'm not exactly human. You have a few parts missing as well. And the paradise part is also left to be determined. Remember your training, Ashley. We should set up a base as soon as possible. You could at least pretend to be human. Just a bit. But you're right. There's no going home until we can construct a functioning rift station. Let's start with the basics. Ashley, construct a headquarters building to secure our presence here. It will allow me to reconstruct if my armor is destroyed. Headquarters construction is in progress. This is going to be our main base of operations on Galatea 37, our new home. We have to protect this building at all costs. You will be teleported here whenever I am critically damaged. There is no other backup if this building is destroyed. That's basic training, Mr. Riggs. Let's focus on the less obvious things. I am required to remind you of basic protocol, even if we've done this before. We need to expand the base. Let's build a Carbonium factory to do the digging for us. Yes, we've got much more interesting things to do. Let's automate this. Our base 
will require huge amounts of power to operate. Right now, we can only construct some basic power plants. Wind turbines and carbonium power plants. Wind turbines are less effective, but they work around the clock. Carbonium power plants are very effective, but they use up the deposits that they are placed on. In the beginning, it's best to use a combination of these power sources. We can balance energy peaks and shortages by storing excess energy in energy storages. Also, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid using energy connectors. They connect all buildings within their area of operation, even if power lines are not visible. Ashley, I'm sure that our presence will not go unnoticed. We should build up our base as quickly as possible. Ashley, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid. Energy connectors distribute power to all buildings within their operating radius. Standard protocol advises to set up walls and sentinel towers around the base. However, I don't expect as much aggression from the native fauna as in the simulations. So far, it looks like the long-range quantum scans were very accurate. The local fauna and flora appear almost exactly like during training. Follow the protocol, Ashley. The environment in the simulation was very accurate, that's true. But the scenario was crafted by Riftbreaker Command. They usually focus on the brute force aspect of these missions. Do you want to run a brute force check if this is a simulation? You never give up, do you? Do you? Okay, Mr. Stubborn. I guess it won't hurt to set up some solid defenses, just in case. Thank you, Captain Novak. You're welcome, Mr. Riggs. Not enough carbonium. We have power shortages. Connect more power plants. Remember to build more power plants before you do that. AI hubs consume a lot of energy. I strongly advise you to construct an armory. It will allow us to craft new weapons and upgrades, and also manufacture field repair kits, as well as other usable items. And it will produce more ammunition for your guns. Yes, that is an important building.
Not enough resources. Okay, these Sentinel Towers should keep us safe, so we can focus on expanding our base further. Detecting a large group of creatures heading towards our position. It looks like our presence has been noticed. Base defenses should be strong enough to hold them back. Skeptical about the procedures for prepping this planet for colonization. Humanity lost its love for nature after the Yellowstone eruption, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try to preserve this ecosystem. Earth is barely habitable at this point. We have to secure Galatea 37 for colonization and resource extraction as soon as possible. Excessive care about the local environment is unnecessary. That's not entirely true. Other rift-breaking missions have already secured a number of resource-rich planets for humanity. We're not on the brink of extinction. Our goals on this mission are clear, and our survival and security is the top priority. Damage to the ecosystem is inevitable. You wanted to come here yourself, and you knew what has to be done. Are you doubting the mission? I know what has to be done. That's not the point. 
Galatea has to be prepared for colonization. I don't doubt that. If I didn't come here myself, then someone else would have. I believe that we can do this in a better way. attack is imminent. We should build stronger defenses around our base.
base is under attack. Steel storage is full. Build more storage facilities. Ashley, I'm detecting a sudden change in air humidity and wind speed. A fog is forming up. This fog is very dense. It's affecting the efficiency of our solar panels and wind turbines. Based on my calculations, it shouldn't last for long. 